Hi, good morning. This is Sarah Lee. How are you today? Pastor JD asked me to do a little children's sermon, which it's really hard to do without your kids here to help me along. But today we're going to talk about when Jesus healed the blind man. And a real story about a girl that didn't get healed but made the best of her life. There was a girl named Fanny who, that was, when she was six weeks old, she got an eye infection and she became blind after that. But never one time in her life did she blame or feel sorry for herself. She praised God her whole life. She wrote several uh, hymns and poems praising God. One of the poems she wrote when she was eight years old is one that I think we all should remember, not just you kids. Oh, what a happy child I am, although I cannot see. I am resolved that in this world, contented I will be. How many blessings I enjoy that other people don't. To weep and sigh because I'm blind, I cannot and I won't. So Fanny didn't become blind because of anything she did bad or that her parents did bad. Because like Jesus told his disciples when they come across a blind man, they, the disciples asked if he was blind because of his sin or his parents' sin. And Jesus told him, no, he was blind so that God's good works could be shown in him. And Jesus healed the blind man and he could see. And all the people praised God and glorified God for his goodness. So we need to remember that God is always watching over us. He's always going to take care of us. And even if we think we're having a rough time, like now when we can't go play with our friends or do things that we would normally do, go out to eat in restaurants and stuff, we need to enjoy the time we have with our family, our parents, and all the good things about being together at home. So just remember that Fanny used her blindness to enjoy life and praise God the whole time. And remember that everything ha that happens can be used to praise and glorify God. So now we'll have a little prayer. Dear Lord, the difficulties in our life seem small when compared to what others may be facing. Help us not to grumble and complain, but to praise and glorify you in every situation. I hope, amen. I hope I'll get to see you in person soon. And until then, enjoy the time you have at home to get closer to your family and enjoy the videos that our church is sending to us. Bye-bye.